ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑक्सीटर और सॉल्विंग ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑक्सीटर यूजिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके सो दिस इज द सिंपल डिजाइन ऑफ ए सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑक्सीटर दैट मींस दिस इज ए स्प्रिंग एंड दिस इज द मास इफ आई वी ड्रैग दिस मास अप टू ए सर्टन डिस्टेंस x equal to x zero and then if I will leave then it will oscillate about its mean position this one about its mean position without friction it will oscillate continuously and this will be oscillate due to its restoring force whatever the uh, at the time of dragging whatever the work done I have to do that energy will be stored and due to restoring force it will be oscillate about its mean position. Okay, so here restoring force we know that minus k x that means inverse proportional to the displacement and we this will be minus k x k is your spring constant x is the instantaneous displacement and this is the force will be nothing but will be magnitude will be m into a mass of this uh, uh, body and uh, acceleration of this body uh, at a particular instant. So m into a will be written as d square x by dt square because along x axis it is oscillating. Uh, that means at instantaneous with a particular time, its particular displacement will be there. So d square x by dt square equal to minus k x and here k x will be minus k x will be uh, moved to left side will be we can write m d square x by dt square plus k x equal to zero. This is nothing but the standard differential equation, second order differential equation of a simple harmonic oscillator. oscillating along x axis about its mean position okay here you can see that initially what what i done that i dragged this body up to this position so at t equal to 0 so from here it will starts at t equal to 0 this the displacement is your x 0 at t equal to 0 the velocity is 0 so i just dragged this body up to this uh, this distance At t equal to zero, so at t equal to zero, the displacement is your x zero and velocity is nothing. Velocity is your zero. So this is the two boundary conditions that we have to apply. So the boundary condition is at t equal to zero, t equal to zero, x equal to x zero, and uh, in middle uh, of the derivation of this one, uh, we have to apply another boundary condition that at t equal to zero, the the velocity also will be zero. Now, to solve this differential equation, we have to apply the Laplace transform on this equation. So, L into Laplace transform applied on this one. M into this one. This one will be x double dash t plus k x L uh, k into Laplace transform of x, which is the function of t equal to zero. And double derivative is there means m is taken outside a square into Laplace transform of x, which is the function of t minus s into x at t equal to 0 minus x dash into t equal to 0 already uh, we have been discussed again i am going to recall you that laplace transform of a derivative in general we know we know that what laplace transform of nth derivative is your uh, s to the power n f s f s capital f of s or this is your laplace transform of f of t S to the power minus n minus one f of zero s to the power n minus two f dash zero and so on. So if it will be two, this will be s to the power two Laplace transform of f of t. Two minus one s to the power one f zero. Here two minus two will be zero s to the power zero will be one f dash zero. Up to this, up to three, up to three terms we can found and we have been written over here plus k into Laplace transform of x t equal to zero. Here we have been substituted that let Laplace transform of x t equal to x bar. So this and at the meantime we have to use the we have to apply the we have to apply the boundary condition. Okay, boundary condition. Let uh, Laplace transform of x t equal to x bar. So here s square s square Laplace transform of x function of t is your x bar minus s into x at t equal to zero. How much x zero? x dash here x dash means dx by dt that means velocity along x axis along x axis with respect to t so at t equal zero when I drag this one up to some extent of distance at x zero it is it is at rest that means velocity is zero 
that means x dash equal to 0 or dx by dt is your 0 this is your velocity okay this is your velocity this is your velocity this is another bounded condition you can say this is the another bounded condition here boundary condition okay another boundary condition okay now now so here this will be zero and this this value will be zero plus k into x bar equal to zero so here m will be divided with each term it will be a square uh, k x bar k by m k by m x bar minus minus here m is m is divided with this and this so divided with this means m cancel so s x0 equal to 0 okay so x bar will be equal to how much s square plus k by m considered as omega 0 square equal to this term taken this side s x0 by put k by m equal to omega 0 square which is nothing but your natural frequency that implies x bar will be equal to s x0 by s square plus omega 0 square let this is your equation number 2 now we are going to apply the inverse laplace transform on equation number 2 what we are going to get Lap inverse laplace transform on the left side inverse laplace transform on right side inverse laplace transform of x bar is your x and inverse laplace transform of on the right hand side right hand side here x0 is a constant taken outside inverse laplace transform of s by a square plus omega 0 square this value is nothing but your cos omega 0 t this will be the solution of a simple harmonic oscillator there is no damping means there is no resistance we are going to consider uh, for simple harmonic oscillator for this case the solution will be this one what we derived or found by using laplace transform thank you so much for watching this video in our next class we are going to discuss about a damped harmonic oscillator means, means it will oscillate but with oscillation it is damping means its energy reducing and reducing continuously okay next class we are going to discuss uh, this one okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you